Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to interpret data presented in a tabular form or in a line graph. But first, let's have a review. Let's present this data in a tabular form. Make a simple tally chart for grade 4 students, showing modes of transportation used by students. Walking, 15. Bicycle, 7. Tricycle, 10. And car, 1. And this is our tabular data. Now, let's construct a line graph for the given data. The number of flowers bloom in 4 days. This is our line graph. Now, let's interpret data presented in a tabular form. Interpreting data means analyzing and understanding the information presented in a table or a single line graph to identify patterns, trends, or insights. It involves making sense of numerical or categorical data and using it to answer questions, make decisions, or draw conclusions. In interpreting data, we should follow these. 1. Read the title. It provides an overview of what a table represents. 2. Check the labels. Identify what the rows and columns presented. 3. Analyze the data. Look for patterns, trends, or comparisons. 4. Answer questions. Use the data to respond to questions or solve problems. Let's interpret the following data. The temperature in a town. To interpret this data, we should answer the questions. Number 1. On which day was the temperature highest? Tuesday, 32 degrees Celsius. Number 2. On which day was the temperature lowest? On Friday, 28 degrees Celsius. Number 3. Did the temperature increase or decrease from Monday to Friday? The temperature decreased from 30 degrees Celsius on Monday to 28 degrees Celsius on Friday. Fourth question. What is the difference between the highest and the lowest temperature? Thirty two degrees Celsius minus twenty eight degrees Celsius equals four degrees Celsius. By summarizing all our answers, we have now our interpretation. The highest day was Tuesday, about thirty two degrees Celsius, and the coldest was Friday for twenty eight degrees Celsius. The temperature slowly went down from Wednesday to Friday, and the difference between the hottest and the coldest day is four degrees Celsius. Now, let's interpret the following data, the weekly allowance of students. To interpret this table, let's answer these following questions. 1. Which student has the highest allowance? 2. It's Carla, 60 pesos. 2. Which student has the lowest allowance? Ella, 40 pesos. Third, how much more does Anna have than Ben? Five pesos more. 50 pesos minus 45 pesos is 5 pesos. Fifth, who gets 55 pesos for allowance? It's David. And this is our interpretation. Carla gets the highest allowance for 60 pesos while Ella gets the lowest of 40 pesos. Anna has 5 pesos more than Ben. The allowances vary among students with 20 pesos difference between the highest and lowest. Let's try. Interpret the following data and answer the following questions. Thank you. 
And these are the answers. And this is our interpretation. Now, let's interpret data presented in a line graph. In interpreting data in a line graph, we have to follow these steps. First, read the title. Understand what the graph is about. Second, check the axis. X-axis for horizontal that represents categories and Y-axis for vertical that represents values. Third, look at the line. An upward trend means an increase. A downward trend means a decrease. A flat line means no change. Fourth, analyze key points. Identify the highest and the lowest values. Observe where significant changes happen. And fifth, draw conclusions. Use the information to answer questions. Now, let's interpret the following data. The toy store sales. And let's answer the following questions. First, on which day did the store sell the most toys? Wednesday, 40 toys. Second, on which day did the store sell the least toys? Monday, for 20 toys. Third, what happened to sales from Monday to Wednesday? Sales went up from 20 to 30 to 40. Fourth, what happened to sales from Wednesday to Thursday? Sales dropped from 40 to 25. Fifth, if the store sells 45 toys on Saturday, will it be more or less than Friday sales? More, because 45 is greater than 35. In this, our interpretation, the highest number of toys was sold on Wednesday and the lowest on Monday. The sales increased from Monday to Wednesday. Sales drop on Thursday but improved again on Friday. Let's have another line graph. The number of visitors in a park. Let's answer the following questions. On which day did the park have the most visitors? On Friday, for 120 visitors. On which day did the park have the least visitors? Monday, 80 visitors. Third, what happened to the number of visitors from Monday to Wednesday? It increased from 80 to 110. Fourth, did the number of visitors increase or decrease from Wednesday to Thursday? It decreased from 110 to 95. In this, our interpretation. The park had the most visitors on Friday for 120 and the least on Monday for 80. The number of visitors went up from Monday to Wednesday. However, the number dropped on Thursday before increasing again on Friday. Let's try. Let's interpret the following data and answer the following questions. Here are the answers. And this is our interpretation. Activity time. Activity number one. Interpret data presented in a tabular form. Here are the answers. Activity number two. Interpret data presented in a line graph.
And these are the answers. Always remember, when interpreting data in a table or line graph, always look at the title to know what information is about. In a table, check the headings to understand what each column or row represents. In a line graph, look at the labels on the x-axis side to side and y-axis up and down to see what is being measured. Find the highest and lowest values and observe how the numbers change. Ask yourself if the data is increasing, decreasing, or staying the same. This helps you understand trends and make smart conclusions about the information. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!